Hello everyone, this is Lynn Palermo from the Armchair Genealogist. Welcome to today's mini webinar. The subject of our webinar today is an introduction to Scrivener for family history writers. If you're not familiar with Scrivener, Scrivener is a software program for writing, but it's, it's so much more than just a writing tool and I think it makes perfect sense for the family history writer and you're going to see why today in this video. Scrivener is really a project management tool because it encompasses more than just writing. And um, I, be, I started using Scrivener about one and a half years ago. It actually started out as a Mac program and a beta version came out for Windows and that's when I jumped on board and started using it. And um, I'm, I've been loving it and I, I really believe that family history writers, once they get a really up close and personal view of this program, are going to love it as well. It's a very affordable program. It's only about $40 to purchase. And um, this is forewarning. I am an affiliate for Scrivener, but I was using Scrivener long before I became an affiliate. It just, it made perfect sense to me and I really could see how it could be applied to family history writing. And, and that's when I decided to become an affiliate and um, help demonstrate it to the genealogy industry. This is a, it's a very flexible program and that's what makes it so brilliant. Um, Scrivener understands that not every writer moves through the writing process the same. We all move through it a little bit differently. We all like to write in a in a different writing environment and this is what is at the heart of Scrivener. They get this and you're gonna see that in this video. So let's get started. Once you download Scrivener you're just gonna get a simple little icon on your desktop. Um, I've got a project open down here for us. Um, once you open, you'll be able to create a project very quickly, very simply. You're going to click New Project, and this is where Scrivener helps get you started because it already has some templates ready for you. You don't have to start from scratch if you don't want. Um, it comes equipped with these various templates, and depending on your writing needs, you can choose different ones. Uh, there's fiction and nonfiction, script writing, and the miscellaneous. We even have a an, a recipe collection template. Great if you want to, to uh, create a uh, family heritage recipe book. Once you've decided, I, personally I like to use blank um, because I just like to start from scratch and, and, uh, and, and build my own template as I go along. Uh, once you've decided on your template though, quickly going to put a title in here. Doesn't have to be the title of your book. You can just come up with a working title for your project. And then it's going to want to know where you want to save it and you have several options here saving it to your desktop to your documents um, I like to save it to Dropbox as you can tell I have Scrivener both on my desktop computer as well as on my netbook and so um, it makes sense for me because then I can access it from either computer simply click create and you're ready to go you have a new project up and going and that's the beautiful thing about Scrivener is um, there's no huge learning curve here you can get on board and start writing immediately. So what we're looking at here is the Scrivener interface and the Scrivener interface is basically made up of three parts. On the left hand side you have the binder and this is basically where we're going to where we organize our information and we're going to access our files from, from the binder. In the middle is the editor. That's basically your word processor. This is where you're going to write your book from. And on the far side of the right here is your inspector. This is where your metadata is stored. So taking a closer look at the binder, you have three parts to your binder. First is the draft. This is your book. Basically these are chapters or concepts um, for the draft that we have in this project. Below is our research material and this is one of the brilliant things about Scrivener that makes it so great for family history writing. And then there's your trash can where you can simply draw, drag and drop uh, your information in there. So. Let's take a, a look here at the word processor, uh, or actually the binder. We'll start with the binder start side of things. Um, in the binder, um, right now we have open um, this first chapter, New York City in 1905. This is just a quick little simple narrative, um, family narrative that I wrote for my grandfather's arrival to New York City in 1905. Um, I wanted to be, you to be able to see some text in here. Um, here we, it's in full screen. You can get rid of the binder, you can get rid of the inspector and don't ha just have the editor open. Again, very flexible so Scrivener understands everybody likes to write differently and you can 
uh, make this as visually appealing as you'd like. You, it works like any other word processor in that you can uh, change the fonts, the line spacing, uh, font size, bold, highlights, it's all there for you. The other thing you can do is you can change the screen and let's just go to a split screen here. This is probably my favorite because on this side I can have my writing and on this side I can have my research. How brilliant is that? I love this idea that I could have, the, here's a ship's manifest that I um, uh, got from Ancestry.com. It's my grandfather's ship's manifest that I, I saved and uh, now I can have it right here visually right beside me. Um, if there's no paper shuffling, there's no looking through binders, there's no having multiple windows open. Here it is um, and it just makes it that much more convenient and uh, productive for you when you're, when you're writing your stories. I uh, also want to show you, I, I also have in here family group sheet, so I pulled this off of my uh, Roots Magic program, inserted it into here. You can put some pictures in here if you'd like. Um, whatever you feel you need to help you motivate you. You can also pull uh, social history. You can import right from the internet into your research file here. So having this research side by side with your with your writing is, is to me um, really a beautiful thing about Scrivener. So the other side, let's take a look over here at, um, at the inspector. Now the inspector is uh, really where your metadata is. On the top you have this little cue card and basically you can put a title in here of your chapter and you can put a one or two line synopsis of what your your chapter is going to be about. And then you have these different labels and statuses that you can give your, your chapter as you're moving through. Now here we've labeled it as a chapter but maybe it's just a concept, maybe it's just an idea. Um, perhaps it's just a scene within our chapter. It can be that as well. Um, these you can change to whatever suits your, your particular needs. Uh, next we can, down here are some, you can put some document notes in here. So this is where I like to kind of keep my research notes. So for instance, if I'm writing this story about uh, New York City 1905 and I decide while I'm writing it, mm, I need a little bit more social history about what New York City looked like in 1905, I can quickly just add that into this notes section. I could also, let's say I want to know a little bit more about the ship's conditions or I want a little, little bit more about this ship that he arrived on. I can make some quick little notes here. I don't have to leave the screen. Uh, I don't have to have a million pieces of paper floating on my desk. It's all here readily available for me. So when I'm ready to go do some research, I've made those notes and here they are. And when I come back, I can easily put that research and into the, the, the appropriate places within my writing. So. Scrivener has really thought it all out very, very well. The next thing that I want to show to you is the corkboard. This is to me um, one of the most brilliant things. Let's go to full screen here and draft. So here we have all of these different chapters and concepts that we have along here are now laid out here on these nice little cue cards. You can have your titles, you've got your descriptions, as you can see, you can pull pictures in there for inspiration. This, in fact, is a mind map. Uh, Scrivener has really thought it out well and has really included a mind map into this software program. It's a great place to organize and structure your, your story. You can start writing right away and structure afterwards or if you like to outline ahead of time that this is the place to do it. Uh, great place to brainstorm some ideas for chapters. Um, you can move things around here. So let's say I don't want to start with New York City. Let's move that one out of the way. I think maybe I want to start with the wedding of Adam and Ellen, uh, but perhaps maybe we're going to finish with the depression years. Very simple, moving things around, no copying and pasting involved. It's really the cork board is quite brilliant. And one of the other nice added little features to this is you can print out these cue cards. So if you got a cork board in your office, you can print them out and you can hang them up there and you've got a visual of that project that you're working on hanging in your office, top of mind always. Wonderful, wonderful tool. In subsequent um, videos, we'll, we'll, we'll take a further look it to at um, 
cork board it's probably a video all, all into itself and and we'll dig deep into this so you can see exactly how you can use it to outline your family history story next thing I want to quickly take a look at is the project statistics on target this is fantastic as well because staying productive and staying on goal and focused is extremely important as a writer here you can put in your word count so let's say I want this story to be 50,000 words well Scrivener is going to keep track of those words for you and attack and show you exactly where you are on target and you can also do session targets so that means today let's say I want to write a thousand words well once I start writing today uh, Scrivener is going to keep track of how many words I write so again you can hit your daily targets so that enables you to hit your overall first draft target fantastic little tool to keep you focused and keep your eye on the prize you can also take a uh, there's also an overall of project statistics so this one just shows you you know where you are in your word counts and how many pages it, it's going to amount to and the the other thing that I want to quickly just touch with it again it's going to be a whole video unto itself but Scrivener also does offer the ability to add footnotes there is a feature to that um, to cite your sources with footnotes and we'll look into that further as well in, in subsequent videos and let's take a look at compiling um, because we're dealing with many different writers who want to write differently but also are writing different projects um, perhaps you're going to just write which I think the majority of us is what we're doing is writing family narratives that we just want to print off in a PDF that we're going to give to family um, maybe you're going to write a family history memoir that you want to sell on Amazon um, perhaps you're going to write a nonfiction genealogy book a how-to book that you want to be able to sell across all e-readers um, maybe you're writing a family history blog that you want to turn into a book like our blog to book project if you're your genealogy who writes magazine articles or you're going to write um, some essays then this program will cover all of those and it will accommodate everyone um, it will format your book into PDFs into Word documents it will form it into EPUB which is the format you need to be able to print a book onto uh, onto Nook and to Sony and and the Apple iPad um, it will also format your book into Mobi so if you want to sell it um, on Kindle at Amazon you'll have that ability as well so Scrivener has recognized that there are many different writers out there with many different needs and it is really accommodating all of those writers so depending on the scope of your audience and who you're trying to reach Scrivener has thought about you so it's not just for the big uh, novelist who's going to be on the bestseller list it's looking at everybody from the, the little family history writer who just wants to write their stories and print them off for their family to maybe if you want to write that big family history memoir novel um, I hope that you have seen what uh, all the, the fantastic flexibility that is involved here in this project um, management tool it's going to get you excited about writing your family history and motivate you and it's going to help you get you organized and be creative and productive and to work smarter and I, I personally just love the love the tool and and I hope you will too um, like I said I'm an affiliate there is a link below this video so if you want to grab um, a copy of Scribner for yourself then by all means please please uh, link through and make your purchase so allowing me to make a small commission on this I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will watch future videos so that you can really get to know uh, Scrivener inside and out and um, it can be your new best friend in writing your family history stories thanks again for stopping by the armchair genealogist this is Lynn Palermo